I was really, really scared. But, uh, Talk about a close call. This happened to Aurélie Rossier while she was driving her borrowed 2008 smart car on a highway near Ottawa last week. Suddenly, one second, and uh, the car was full, full of smoke. I didn't see anything. I didn't... I... I couldn't breath. Rossier says she managed to get out of the car just before it was completely engulfed in flames. The car's owner says he contacted the manufacturer and they told him they'd never heard of such a thing happening before. But this wasn't a first. Safety authorities in the U.S. have received dozens of complaints about 2008-2009 smart cars catching on fire. Some of them are chilling. Within 10 seconds, the very spot where he had been sitting was totally engulfed in flames, writes one person. The exterior seemed to be melting before my eyes, wrote another. The U.S. Department of Transportation says the complaints appear to indicate an increasing trend. It's investigating 27 incidents, 19 of them in the last two years. And it's happened in Canada, too. Uh, and the flames were shooting above the house. Marion Wyatt says she was startled out of bed at one in the morning when her smart car burst into flames seven years ago. She didn't report it to Transport Canada. We didn't even think of doing that, to tell you the truth. We thought maybe Mercedes might or the insurance company might. Consumer advocates say very few Canadians actually report safety incidents to Transport Canada. The defects go unreported. And the APA would like to see amendments to our motor vehicle safety legislation that would tighten that up. Legislation, he says, that would compel insurance companies and manufacturers to report safety incidents to authorities. Transport Canada said it wasn't aware of any smart car fires related to possible safety defects prior to being contacted by CBC News. But CBC News has found two incidents since then and the Automobile Protection Association, four others, all discovered in the past few days. Aaron Saltzman, CBC News, Toronto.